I'm French, but uh, when I was young, my father was traveling for his work. So the, uh, the early years of my life, I was in Hong Kong and it was uh, very British then. So um, I think maybe it helps me, uh, it helped me to, uh, to have the, uh, the, 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 the English sound in, in the ear. And uh, I went back at six to start school back in France. And so I'm a Parisian, really Parisian boy. <laughs> so where is the English cultural background? Uh... Yes, um, and when after my high school, I went one year making music to New York. So it was the beginning of um, of my work, and then I start to uh, to work there with the, uh, the the band of the of the, the time like DNA, uh, Lydia Lunch, James Chance, B52s was started. Uh, what we had, uh, Ramones, uh, Debbie Harry, uh, all uh, Patti Smith, all the, the the punk scene, television, all the punk scene of New York. And I went back to France and uh, bought some synthesizers and started the music then. Okay, so at this time and uh, in your teen, teenage, uh, what kind of music did you listen to? It was, uh, what did I listen when I was young? When, uh, when at five I started classical piano. So uh, I heard a lot of classical music, but also uh, uh, rock and uh, teenager music. Um, at this time, there was a lot of different music and, and they were mixed. There was no frontier between the, the music. You can listen, you, were, uh, you could listen the morning to rock and, and the afternoon funk music. And uh, after some classical, it was really mixed, you know, the, the, white guy plays in a funk band and the black guys were uh, like Phil Leonard bassist of a rock band and things like that. So it was uh, really uh, nice to have uh, in the years many, many kind of music. So I love funk, uh, Kraftwerk, electronic, uh, reggae, a lot of, lot of music, hard rock too, uh, Led Zepp or Aerosmith and things like that. Okay, so do you remember the setup and equipment for recording your earliest songs? Yes, I remember, we, because I started with one synthesizer, like everybody. I, I work selling gasoline in a, in a shop all, the, all one summer, when I was uh, 15, 16, to bought me an ARP uh, synthesizer to start to, uh, to make some music and uh, I used also uh, ERP sequencer to start to make some uh, 24 note sequences, which were the the start of all the uh, the, the, the the music, and then some uh, uh, other things and uh, that one synthesizer, two, three, four, five, and um, that's the story of uh, music. <laughs> So, uh, continuing and pursuing your career, how did you decide decided to form the band and uh, choose the name Love International? My first, uh, my first contract, record contract, I did a single which was the, um, the cover of uh, Unsquare Dance from Jazzman Def Burbeck. And I did it, uh, of course, with uh, sequences and things like that. It's a strange song because because the uh, the uh, the meter is seven four, so it's it's kind of not square music. And do from the the it's in the title and um, it was really great to make some sequences. And I worked with uh, two uh, one guy who made sequence sequence with me it was called Fred Versailles. And together after we start. To, uh, to, to do the project Love International, which was a kind of uh, something more funky, electronical funky stuff. So, um, that was the idea and uh, we were young and so we used Love International. And uh, we had a uh, guy called Philippe Cruce, uh, who was the, uh, the biggest uh, DJ in Paris because he was the DJ of Les Bains Douches which was the, the big place in Paris in the early 80s. 
and we, we were thinking and we, we work together and, and make love international. Okay, so did the evolution of uh, the synthesizer have an effect on your sound? Of course, yes, because uh, at this time the, the first synthesizer was uh, only one voice. You can do note by notes, you can't play chords. I, I, I knew the, the, the period where you have to play note by note. Then the, uh, the first polyphonic synthesizer came and we, you started to play three notes, five, four, eight, eight notes at the same time. So uh, the music became more uh, rich, harmonically rich. And so we can, uh, we can explore more, more new sounds. And uh, of course, all the, uh, the, 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 the technical progress of synthesizer was very huge by the time. And there was no MIDI. We have to invite boxes with a click to make the synthesizer play together because uh, there was no uh, interface between the machines. We have to... We, we have to invite the uh, system to make the synthesizer shape together. It was really hard, but interesting. <laughs> so, uh, who were your influences at the time? Kraftwerk for the uh, for the, 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 the synthesizer. They invited everything. It's 35 years ago. I saw them last year. It was still fantastic the, the, those guys are so great but also uh, flash and the pen by the, which was really uh, nice or uh, what wally badaru did on the uh, grace jones album produced by uh, by sire um, uh, island records was really great this period also french music like gainsbourg or uh, alain chanfort or or Jacques Dutron, uh, what else? Uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, many, many, many kind of music, but most of all electronic music. Okay. So how did you create your unique sound? I like to mix some AV, fat uh, sound of synthesizer for the sequences. The sequences I use are between the, the, the bass, what plays bass, or a, um, the left end of uh, the keyboards. The, the, the next part is mostly played by guitars, because in, in my influences I can speak about Bohannon, which was, uh, I was really a fan of Bohannon for the uh, hypnotic kind of disco rhythm. And uh, the, the guitar player of uh, this guy was also pl playing for uh, all the, uh, the, the all the funky stuff called Wawa Ragging. The, the master of uh, Wawa guitar was had some sequences incredible and make also uh, uh, the early years of uh, guitar player like uh, Nile Rogers is the, the son of uh, Wawa Ragging. And uh, I like to make that, make some guitars to, to pull some human feeling in the thing, see, in the, in the sharpness of synthesizer. I love uh, drum box. Drummers are, they always want to do their own and they, I love the, 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 to use drum box like uh, Kraftwerk and things like that. And uh, sometimes horns and synthesizers plays all over the, it's 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 a combination of this uh, of this stuff, a kind of uh, neo uh, disco uh, funky uh, pop uh, sound. <laughs> okay. Uh, what were some inspirations for your lyrics on Rive Gauche? It's called Rive Gauche because in France, uh, early fifties after the Second World War, there was a new movement of uh, new singers like Gainsbourg and things like that, and they were doing some stuff called Rive Gauche. Um, it, for me, it was a clin d'œil, but it's not really uh, official Rive Gauche stuff. But I was living in the Rive Gauche of the scene uh, in Paris. So uh, I met this clin d'œil of those people and uh, Gainsbourg started with this kind of uh, stuff, but he became 
really modern after and develop uh, fantastic uh, stuff. So it was a big influence for, uh, for, for the lyrics, something uh, new uh, about uh, adventure, girls, loves, uh, things like that. Things you're interested in at this age. <laughs> Okay, uh, what instruments do you use to record the song on the uh, riff gauge? I had uh, for some stuff, for jazzy stuff, I, I mix uh, drum, uh, drum box, lean drum, TR808, which is a uh, basic, fantastic uh, machine, uh, which I used after on some famous song I did it in French um, sometimes a real drummer for the do some uh, ballet for the jazz stuff um, bass synthesizers uh, guitars uh, keyboards uh, some horns saxophones uh, what did uh, we used um, and vocals okay so thank you for answering the questions for the dark entry label and uh Uh, if you want to say the last word? Uh, I, I'm very pleased that this uh, sound with, with my early years work uh, are still uh, make uh, some interest for young people. It's, for me it's, uh, it's a proud and I'm very uh, flattered to, to see that it could uh, go through the years. Yeah, I'm, I'm really uh, happy with that. So, bye-bye. <laughs>